Alright, so we finally got things set up so that our dialogue's appearing in game, but as you can see, the player name and portrait are just set to defaults and stay there forever. So in this video, we're going to get our names and portraits up and running. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is head down to our dialogue folder, go into scripts, we're going to open up the advanced dialogue manager. So the first thing we'll need to do here is create some variables to hold our information. So we'll make a private string called current speaker for the current speaker's name and also a private sprite to hold the current portrait that we want to display. Now we just need to fill those variables with some information so we can head down to our update method. At the moment, if dialog is activated and we push a button, we do one of two things. We either end the conversation if it's over, or we continue it. But you'll notice that this else statement is already starting to get pretty full. So we're going to create a new method here. We'll call this play dialog. And it won't like that at first, so we can head down below and create that method. Now we can go back up to update and just copy those three functions and paste them to play dialog. We can also remove the brackets on either end of play dialog now as there's just the one function here in our else statement. And that just keeps things looking nice and clean. Now within play dialog, there's two things we need to do. First, we need to see if it is a random NPC that's been selected. And secondly, we'll have to look and see if it is a recurring character that has an actor scriptable object created. So first thing we need to do is actually check if it is a random one. So we can do this by going if current conversation dot actors and we'll just check the actor of our current step in the conversation now if that's equal to dialog actors dot random now you may remember earlier we created a number of enumerations called dialog actors for recurring characters we also made our random and branch options here so if it's a NPC that does not show up repeatedly in the game just the once you can use random and you can actually just set the information on the NPC rather than having to create a scriptable object now there's also the possibility that it's a recurring character, in which case we'll need to make an else statement. And I'll just move these back over to the side. Now we'll come and fill these two options in just a moment, but first let's just finish this method. So once we've selected whether it's a recurring character or not, we want to actually display the dialogue, which we're already doing, but we want to add now that we're going to have our actor's name text equal to the current speaker and our portrait sprite equal to the current portrait. Now we just need to get that information depending on whether or not it's a random or recurring character. Now to do this, we're actually gonna create one more method. And I know this is a lot of methods, but it will help keep things clean and easier to follow later on when you're referring back. This new method will be called setActorInfo. And it won't like that, of course, because we haven't created the method yet. And you may be asking, why are we having an if and else statement if both of them are going to send us to the same place anyways? That's because we're going to pass a little bit of information in these brackets onto the new method. To show you what I mean, let's create that method. So it would avoid set actor info. And in the brackets, we're just going to create a bool for whether or not it is a recurring character. Now we can update our set actor info so that if it is a random character, it's not recurring, so we'd put false. And if it is in fact a recurring character, we'd put true. So now our set actor info can act differently depending on whether or not it's a recurring character. So down in our set actor info now, we can check to see if it's a recurring character and we can have different things happen depending on whether or not it is. Let's just pop back to Unity for a sec. I know it's been a little while since we dealt with this. If you look in our actor SO folder, you can see that we've created these scriptable objects for recurring characters that hold their name and portrait. But at the moment, all that information is just stored in our project folder. None of it's in the game. So now we need to access that information. So if you scroll all the way to the top of our advanced dialog manager, we're just going to create a public actor SO array called actor SO that will just hold on to all of our scriptable objects for recurring characters. This will make a sort of library that we can refer back to and get information every time we do dialog. So now we can click on our dialog manager. And it will now have an array here for our actor scriptable objects. So each time we create a new actor, we can store their data here. Now to do that, we're going to need a for loop. And you can get the syntax for this by typing for and then double tapping tab. Now what we want to do here is loop our way through the entire length of our actor scriptable object library. Don't forget to make that a lowercase a. And now for every scriptable object in that list, we want to check to see if the actor SO we're currently looking at has a name that is equal to the name of the actor in our current conversation. So we'll current conversation, dot actors, and then step num. So the actor we're currently supposed to have speaking. 
Now we also have to convert this to string so that it can actually read it as text. Once we have found the correct one, we can now set our current speaker to be equal to the actor scriptable object's actor name. And we can also set our current portrait to be equal to the actor scriptable object's portrait. All right, finally, we need to set things up in case it's not a recurring character. So we'll just add an else statement here. And if it's non-recurring, then we'll just make our current speaker equal to our current conversation dot random actor name, which is just information we input in our NPC dialog. We'll do the same for current portrait equal to current conversation dot random actor portrait. With all of that done now, our play dialog will check whether an actor is recurring, retrieve the correct information, and then display that information along with our dialog. All right, I think we're ready to test this. All right, so now when you get into the game, you should be able to talk to your NPC, and now we will have faces appearing as well as names as our characters speak. We also have the option, if this were a random NPC, rather than having Martin over here, I could select random and then put in that information. And I don't actually have a sprite for this one, so let's see what sprite number one is randomly. So if I go up to Martin now, push the button, and we get rando dude and some strange graphic, <laughs> but it's working pretty good. All right, things are working pretty well. We've got functional dialogue, but of course we want that option text to actually only appear at the correct time. And we wanna actually be able to ask some questions and have player choices. We'll head there in the next tutorial. Until then, this is Matt with Night Run Studio. Cheers.